poured, pressed, cast. What's the difference? Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Patriarch Stacker here, and I'm back with another great video for you guys and girls today. Now, there's about 70% of you guys and girls that watch my videos that are not subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot if you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment and hit that like button. It doesn't cost you a dime. Anyways, we are going to go over three types of different bars you can stack. You have your press bars, you have your cast bars, and you have your poured bars. Well, what's the difference? And lately I've been getting a lot of questions asking me if I can do a video on the different types of bars. The press bars, cast bar, poured bars, and a lot of people want to know the difference between a poured bar and a cast bar. Well, for example, poured bars usually have poured lines or ripples. Um, for example, these are poured lines on the back. Um, a lot of them end up having like a waffle back look especially the old vintage stuff like the Silvertown or Englehart. Um, but yeah, that's a key sign to tell if it's cast or poured. Most of the time, if it's poured, it has some type of marking on the back like this. And we call it a waffle back. Um, or they have ripples. Now, not every poured bar has ripples, um, but some of them do. This one, for example, does not have ripples. But you can see the, you know, the difference and the bars, you know, this side might be higher and this side's lower. Um, there's an indent there and, you know, an indent there. Um, so not every poured bar is identical. Um, now, cast bars are very similar to poured bars, but they're more, I should say, structured, more identical than uh, poured bars. Um, for example, cast bars look like a poured bar, you know, in the front and stuff by the sides, but the backs are flat. Um, now the funny thing is they're both poured into a mold but usually the poured bars are just pulled poured, poured right into uh, one mold while cast bars are uh, poured into a double-sided mold. Um, so it's more uh, uniformed I should say, more identical versus poured bars because every pour is going to be different um, cast bars, there are they are usually different than the other, but there there's more of a more of a same look to other cast bars. For example, if I brought on another IGR bar, they're pretty damn close to identical. But yeah, cast bars and poured bars are very very similar. Um, a lot of people get them confused. You know, I hear a lot of people calling this a poured bar. Um, when they're actually cast. Um, the big difference, like I said, are the backs. The backs on the cast bars are flat. There's no lines. And on poured bars, there's usually ripples or waffle or honeycomb look to the back or some type of lines. Um, so that's a big way you can tell a poured bar from a cast bar. But very, very similar. And then, last but not least, we have press bars. Now, press bars are obviously pressed by a coin press. Now, pretty much every press bar that comes out um, looks the same. There's really no difference unless there's a, an error in the press or a, the press did a misprint or something like that. But um, it's pretty much like a, a car park going down the assembly line. They're all going to be the same. It's the same thing with press bars. Um, but yeah, there's not much to tell you about these. It's just, uh, you know, just like your coins, they're just pressed, you know, and that's what a press bar is. <laughs> um, but uh, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite? Out of the poured, cast, and press bars, what are your favorite? Now, shout out to Silver Gold Stack Attack, my good buddy. He loves his press bars. He does not really care for poured or cast bars. And, uh, Lately, he's been getting me on that press bar kick. Uh, lately, I've been buying a lot of press bars. Um, I should have a few of them coming in the mail very soon. Um, I should have them by the end of the week or so. But I'll have some uh, cool press bars for the stack. And 
I love my press bars just as much as I love my poured and cast bars, but uh, lately I've been buying, well, this year I've been buying a lot of cast and poured bars. Um, but I'm going to start stacking up more press bars this year, that's for sure. Um, it's just, they're cool. You know, it's uh, a nice classic silver bar look that, you know, typical press bar. Uh, and there's a lot of great mints out there that, you know, put out some nice press bars like uh, uh, Silvertown, Sunshine Mint, um, a lot of great companies out there. But um, yeah, comment down below and let me know what bars are your favorite to stack. Are they the cast bars? For example, Germanium Mint are cast bars. IGR bars are cast bars. Um, then you have your your press bars, which are you know your uh, Sunshine Mint, your uh, Silvertown bars. Um, a lot of you know a lot of brands out there. And then you have your board bars. Um, there's uh, your vintage Engelhart stuff. Uh, you got a lot of uh, private um, poor artists out there making some cool poor pieces. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what is your favorite type of bar to stack, poured, pressed, or cast. Um, me, I would have to st go with uh, cast bars and poured bars are pro pretty much, I don't know, it's hard. I like them all. Um, it just depends on my mood, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, comment down below and let me know. And yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below. And uh, Patriotic Stacker, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.